Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. We'd like to jump right into a shout out this week and our shout out goes to all of our seniors who participated in our RMHS Senior Internship Program. So the community may know, uh, we expanded our internship program this year uh, where any student who is senior who's in good academic standing and wanted to get out and get some good work experience before graduation, had the opportunity to partner with one of our community partners uh, and get out in the field during their fourth, their fourth quarter. Uh, so this applied to over 90 students who were across various sites all in the region. Uh, if you look in the link to the written newsletter, there is a, a blurb about uh, who those companies were, who those partners were, and some of the ways that the students made an impact in their, in their work. So a shout out to all of our students who participated in our senior internship program. We'd like to give a special shout out to two students, and this shout out comes from Wood End. So Wood End had two senior interns, uh, Tyler Lloyd and Jack Vieira. Uh, and here's a couple quick things that the, the staff said about them. The fourth grade teacher shared that uh, Tyler from day one had a natural ability to work with kids, and he always knew how just how to help everyone. He didn't shy away from any leadership role and was beyond polite and respectful with every staff member in every building. And also Jack, who interned in a different fourth grade class, uh, the staff shared, uh, we were so impressed by his kindness, maturity, work ethic, all traits needed for success. My class loved him. It was as if I had another teacher in the classroom. It was so impressive. So uh, again, a huge shout out to Tyler and to Jack and to all of our senior interns who did a great job representing RMHS in our community. Uh, and uh, it's just a quick side note too, that these internships were paid through a grant that we received. So again, good work experience for our students while also uh, getting some money prior to graduation. Shifting into our updates for the week, speaking of our seniors, uh, RMHS graduation is on Friday, June 2nd at 6 p.m. Out on the football field, all in our community are welcome. We hope to see you out there to celebrate all of our amazing Rockets moving on. Next update around Juneteenth, uh, SOCA for EJI fundraiser. Uh, the RMHS Students of Color and Allies for Equity, Justice, and Inclusion are running a shirt fundraiser. There's a link in the written newsletter uh, to uh, check out uh, or support through purchasing a t-shirt uh, and other ways that you can get involved. So uh, check out the link in the written newsletter for more information. Next update from our community is around many Reading Memorial Day Parade and Cemetery Services. So this is a nearly 160 year tradition uh, where the community pays tribute to military personnel uh, that lost their lives in, uh, in, in, in service to the country. So this parade will begin on, uh, on Memorial Day, Monday, May 29th, and it starts at the American Legion at 37 Ash Street and followed by services at four local cemeteries. You'll see in the written newsletter a link to more information. A uh, couple of things from CPAC. So CPAC has two upcoming events. First up event is on June 13th uh, from 5 to 6, 15 p.m. It's a, it's a free online training about raising screen-wise kids. Uh, there's a flyer in the written newsletter for more information. And also on Tuesday, June 20th, there's an end of year uh, adult social event, and that's at 7 p.m. So again, more information can be found in the written newsletter. And our last update comes from uh, our community education program around summer adventure programming. So for those of you looking to get students involved in more programming over the summer, Reading Community Education is pleased to offer summer adventure programming for students grades K through six. There's some really awesome offerings and you can find those in the catalog that's linked in the written newsletter. So uh, feel free to reach out to Chris Nelson for more information, but hope that some of our students take advantage of some of those great opportunities this summer. We hope that you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and go Rockets.